going to read Cats for Sale. We're going to talk about the parts of the book first. What is this called? The front cover and this, the spine and this, the back cover. Let's get into it. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like any ordinary peddler. He carried his wares on his back. He carried them on the top of his head. First, he had a, his own checkered cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street, calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap, but nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. <clears throat> and he sat down very slowly under the tree and he leaned back little by little against the tree trunk. So not to disturb his the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to fill if they were straight. First his own checkered cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed oh, and rested. But before standing up, he felt for his, with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. He felt his own checkered cap. Hmm, I wonder what happened to the other caps. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked to the back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree. What do you think he saw? Hmm. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Look at those silly monkeys. This made the peddler angry. He shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both of their hands back at him and said, tss, Now he felt quite angry. He stamped both of his feet and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stopped their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both of his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped both their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. At last he became so angry that he pulled off his own checkered cap and threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. What do you think happened next? But then each monkey pulled off his cap all the gray caps, all the brown caps, all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the 
tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checker cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly walking back to town, calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end.